I love the feeling of child cum. So, he's back. Yeah, TJV introduced you in the exactly the wrong way. Exactly the wrong way. What basically happened here is, if you're not part of my Discord, go join my Discord. A bunch of my Discord members decided to go over, join his stream, and watch his stream. Make a few comments, do all that stuff here and there. I don't endorse harassment, and I don't endorse going over to mess with his streams at all. But hey, if you want to go over there and watch, make a few comments, even mention my name, go ahead and go do it. I guess that's not big of a deal. And I ended up recording some of this footage so I can talk about some of the things that he says. Because they're quite interesting. And I am not the monster that he makes me out to be. I'm just an intelligent, caring guy whom you'd quite like if you met me in person. Um, I think if I met you in person, I would completely go the other way. You're about 10 years older than me. This man is almost 30 years old. And I don't make you out to be a monster. I just point out that you're very flawed in a lot of your reasoning. You sit here and believe that Mening Lad is not a pedophile and that his so-called admission of actually soliciting minors is all fake. It's just to cool down the hype off of him. You try to report every single person that does not like Mini Lad. And on top of that, there's many other issues. Of course he's a good guy. He... He, he donated wells to Africa? I should know that because I saw it. I couldn't make it to the donation streams in time, but I'm told they went over well. You saw it happen? You were there in Africa? I don't know, boys. This is kind of sus. He might be imposter. You might have saw like a clip or some pictures online of it. And yes, he did do some good things, some charitable things back in the day. But he's not doing anything now. But that doesn't justify his actions. He sat here and still solicited minors, he manipulated them, and then he tried to keep this hidden for years. Oh, welcome Jello1586, welcome to the stream. Hey, it's Jello. Kami Pyro. Yes, it's Kami Pyro. He's one of my friends too, leave him alone. Speaking about Kami Pyro, he was there in the live stream. He heard a few of the things that you said that might not be included in this video, but this is what Kami has to say to Vic G Chad. Chad, it's funny how you banned me from your chat saying you got you got embarrassed by 100 million people. Boy, you only had 19 people in your stream, my guy. Also, don't you dare come at Riley like that. How are you going to call him fat when you look like Harry Potter who's given up, bro? Don't come at Riley like that. You just can't take criticism and you hide behind a band button, my guy. Like, if you're going to do something with your life, I suggest change whatever's going on, fix your room, and probably, probably, you're going to have people that actually like you. Also, stop trying to defend Minnie. What he did was actually very bad. And so... That's all I gotta say from your boy Kami Pyro. Suck it, bitch. So at one point during the stream, he ended up calling Riley fat. So here is Riley's response to this. Hey, what's up, Virgin G? Hey, listen, if you're gonna make fun of me and call me fat and all sorts of other shit, make sure you're not hiding behind your band hammer, you goddamn coward. And also make sure that you don't look like Roz from Monsters, Inc. Check out my channel, press that like button, subscribe, email me, whatever you gotta do. Fuck you. Good night. Trevor Volantine zero zero. Uh, hey, Trevor Volantine zero zero. Look straight ahead and say bye now. Um. So he did this because I followed him on Twitch. Kind of shows that he's like really, really petty about the whole situation. Honestly, guys, I've tried for a long, long time to chat with him. Voice chat, video chat, something. I'd love to have an interview with this guy, but he doesn't want to have an interview, sadly. My opinion on the whole topic while it's still hot. If you're gonna call Mini Lad a pedophile, you might as well call Cryos Gaming a pedophile, you might want to call Chilled Chaos a pedophile, and you might want to call Omrecker a pedophile. Uh. 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 And I'll tell you why. Please do. Cryos Gaming in, uh, in one session of Cards Against Humanity. Uh, he had played several questionable cards in a row. Questionable cards. Do you know how to play Cards Against Humanity? The whole thing with that game is to be edgy. You're supposed to have the best card, or the card that stands out. None of the cards that they actually choose reflect them as an individual. Many questionable cards involving children. Yeah, there are pre-written children cards in there. Now I get it if someone sits here and it's like a blank card and they want to type in something. I get you can slightly, I guess, make a case about it, but still the whole context of the game is to be edgy, to have the best card, to have the card that stands out. There are already children-based cards in the game. 
even if you didn't want one they pop up sometimes and big jiggly panda anthony michael thomas brown remarked be careful with your cards john people already think you're a pedophile <sighs> john is our vape lord leave john alone in, in another session the prompt read by Dahi Danogla was, I love the feeling of blink. Many Lad's card was not pulling out. Smitty's card was doing the splits and splitting in half. And Cryoz's was child come. <sighs> Again, I've already explained the whole point of the game is to be edgy. The whole point of the game is to have a card that stands out. The card that gives the most reactions. When you're with a bunch of YouTubers, what you're going to do is do something that makes everyone laugh. It's gameplay. People want to watch good gameplay. People want to watch the funny reactions, the ridiculous things that they do. Some YouTubers are more friendly, some YouTubers are more edgy. But just because a YouTuber is edgy with what they choose to do doesn't mean they're a pedophile. And again, it's how you play Cards Against Humanity. It, it, it is how you play Cards Against Humanity. I'm just bringing up... I'm just bringing up the uh, the issue of double standards amongst many lads haters. So I have one more video about Vic G Chad I want to upload. Unless he ends up posting another thing stupid, then I'll make another video on him. But pretty much it's just going to be a long video of a lot of reactions I've cut together. Me and a couple people on Discord decided to watch some of his stream. But it's pretty loud. We're laughing pretty loud. I'll hopefully upload that sometime this week. But for right now, here's a small little sneak peek to that. No, TJV isn't a simp. TJV is a cocky poo poo double dog duty icky cootie booger head <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go join the Discord so you can join all the fun. Update me on any other information about any other videos you want to make, either Mini Lad, Vic G Chad related, or anything else. Make sure to like and subscribe. You guys can also go check out my Patreon and help support me on Patreon. It would mean a lot. It would help support the channel and everything that I do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Papa Duck out. Peace.